Hey guys, welcome to another video. So in today's video, we're, I'm going to explain the difference between clock, uh, clock speed and the number of cores in your computer. So uh, I know na rinig nyo na ng mga Ryzen, uh, meron silang 4 cores, uh, hex 6 cores, 8 cores, and then mataas like 16 cores like sa mga Threadripper. And then sa Intel like i3, actually ang i3 ngayon, dati ang i3, dual core lang yan, pero ngayon, uh, meron na silang quad core and i5 quad core rin and then i7 as a 8 core and also if you see sa dulo na pangalan nila like for example intel i7 uh, 93 blah 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 and then nakalagay 3.6 gigahertz and then same in sa ryzen ryzen 5 3600 3.6 gigahertz and then four cores so let's break it down <laughs> So, ang core ng let's uh, let's make an example na maintindihan natin. For example, uh, you're going to school and then maraming estudyante pumipila sa labas and then meron ng apat na guard nagche-check ng nagche-check ng bag. So, apat lang na estudyante ang pwedeng kapasok at the same time. And kung ano da, uh, four students lang ang makapasok at the same time. And then if you add more uh, guards like for example you another another four which makes them eight so ng eight ka security guard maka check ng bags and then eight ka student makapasok at the same time so yun so the guards are ano ng are exact uh, example course natin and then ang clock speed naman for example if they're given ng binigyan sila ng one minute ng ilan ka estudyante ma-process nila within that one minute na span. So, ganyan din ang clock speed. So, uh, minsan makakita ka ng uh, dual core pero mataas ang clock speed niya. So, um, it means that it can do ano, ng pro, it can do the task very quick. For example, gaming and then browsing and then opening mga files. So, but uh, mataas na clock speed, it means pabilis ang computers. Pero depende yan sa architecture. So, ibang video na rin. So, uh, I know what you're thinking. Nang kung bibili ka ng computer, ano tingnan mo ng uh, core, core counts ba? Or ng, sh should you buy the four cores na maliit na clock speed? Or you should buy the dual core na mataas clock speed? Actually, kung depende yan sa preference mo eh. Kung gaming ka, ng medyo mag ano ka ng middle ground so I highly recommend uh, kasi ang Athlon 200GE if you watch my previous video dual core siya with hyper threading so I'll explain hyper threading hyper threading maybe on a different video naman so basically it ano lang just to give you a quick background hyper threading is um, for example remember our example na guard so uh, each core, which is the security guard, can process dalawang tasks. So, uh, it gives the illusion na, ano, kung meron kang dalawang core at may hyper-threading siya, it, became, it becomes four. Kasi sa dalawang core mo, it can process uh, it can process dalawang programs at the same time. So, two times two is equals four. So, that's why minsan makita mo mga i3, may hyper-threading sila which gives the illusion na meron silang extra core which is uh, totally not true hyper threading lang yan so going back if you're into gaming nang usually I'm a recommend ko is the Intel Pentium G4 I forgot the name pero nang sobrang taas ng clock speed like 3.2 and then 3.2 to 3.3 and then you can pair it with a decent graphics card like GT1050 pwede ka naka game kaso uh, medyo over, uh, bottleneck ng konti pero sobrang okay siya if you're in a budget pero uh, if you're planning to game and then streaming and then video editing so probably mga Ryzen 5 3600 or 3400 kasi perfect balance eh. may meron ka ng 4 cores and then mataas ang clock speed kasi kung nag edit ka ng video kailangan mong cores kasi ang ginawa niya for example meron kang video itong timeline ng video mo parang tinachap chap niya and then each of the cores nang process it individually so the more cores you have and the higher clock speed you have uh, mabilis ang rendering so much better if you're planning to game and then edit konti 
um, you should go for like a higher clock speed and higher core count. And also, ng sa mga AMD, sa mga dyan, sa mga nagko-comment, like, uh, meron ako mga comment na AMD A6 sa daw, and AMD A8. So, okay naman siya. Kasi, ng mataas, ay notice, ang base clock speed niya is 3.3. So, sobrang taas na yan. And then, kasi before, around 2012, and then, 2000, ano, ang mga regular speed na computer is around 2.5 or 2.8. So, ngayon, mataas na. And, also, I did a comparison between a core to quad and a core to duo. So, ang core to quad, sa pangalan pala, ang apat ng cores niya, uh, ano siya, ng quad core siya. Pero, nang nakaklock siya at 2.6 gigahertz. And then, meron kong core to duo, nakaklock 3, uh, 3 gigahertz. So, mataas siya. So, I did a comparison. No, actually, kanina, ako lang na-test eh. Uh, naglaro ako ng ROS. So, ang graphics card ko is GT710. Nang, ang nakuha ko na FPS, ang average FPS gamit ang props, mga 19. So, 19 FPS lang. Pero, uh, pinalitan ko ng Core to Duo na 3 GHz, mataas na clock speed. Ha? And then, naglaro ako ng ROS ulit. Ang result ay nag ano nag dumagdag ng 10 FPS sa games ko. So from 19 gumawa ng 29. So sobrang okay na talaga ang ano niya, ang FPS niya. Uh, so in conclusion guys, if ano nyo, if ang main ano nyo talaga main objective nyo is to game. So dual core or quad core ng hanapin nyo palagi ng mga 3, 3 gig at least 3 gigahertz pataas. Huwag kayo bumili ng mga CPU na clock at 3, uh, below 3 gigahertz. Dapat above 3 gigahertz lang. If plan mo mag, ano, mag gaming talaga. And then kung plan mo mag video editing and then like uh, office work and then browsing the internet. Marami kang programs in open like AutoCAD, Photoshop and then uh, Chrome and then mga blender dyan. So I think ang best example is the AMD Phenom. 6-core uh, siya, pero uh, nakaklock siya at 2.6 GHz. So, I don't know kung meron kamahanap ng mga Phenom ngayon kasi parang extinct na sila. So, that's it guys. Nang, tandaan nyo ng masama taas na clock speed. Pero, uh, oh, no, so, almost forgot. Nang doesn't mean kung mataas ang clock speed niya, nang good for gaming siya. Kasi, Meron na akong Pentium, mang luma na Pentium, like Pentium 4. Uh, Pentium 4 siya, 3 GHz, pero I think single core lang siya. So that's a bad idea kasi luma na siya. Uh, so yun, ng somewhere around core to duo, ng for budget gaming, core to duo na 3 GHz or core to quad or i3, actually mga i3 ngayon, mga 3 point something na GHz. So yun ang mga best na mga budget CPUs, i3, i5s. And then, AMD A6 or A8. So, kasi mataas ang clock speed nila. So, basta tandaan nyo, higher clock speed equals mataas na frame rate. Basta paired lang sa maganda na graphics card. So guys, uh, thank you for watching. I hope may natutunan kayo. And kung meron kayong mga clarifications or questions, just leave it down below. And then, kung gusto nyo share ang mga setup and PC build nyo, just comment down below. And... I'll just ano and you want to contact me nandiyan na nandiyan lang sa baba ang uh, Facebook and Instagram ko so guys I'll see you on the next video peace